Very good morning from Chitral. Uh, so today is the big day for our trip uh, as we are heading to Kalash Valley today. Uh, we will be going to Bambureet and uh, then on our way back we will be visiting Ayun Valley as well. And now it's uh, breakfast time. Uh, right behind me on the dining table, breakfast is almost ready. And I have told all the friends, uh, they are almost ready as well. So we will now have breakfast, then the jeep will be here in about 20-25 minutes. And then we will be heading for Kalash Valley. This is Shahid Bhai, who is our host here in the Legend Hotel in Chitral. And I can easily say that this is one of the best places and in uh, pretty much reasonable prices to, if you want to stay in Chitral with a very nice view as well and very delicious breakfast, uh, you will get it all here. And this is our flight for Kalash. Uh, we are all set to go. The girls are already in and this is Imran Bhai, he will be our captain and our guide today and it's time to go. We are on our way to Kalash Valley but we have requested, we have requested Imran Bhai that uh, uh, since I have also come here after a very long time and uh, we have foreign guests, Ayaz Bhai, Abid Bhai, he is also here after a very long time so we want to cover all the important points on this route uh, so now we have stopped at the first major point that is a viewpoint for the whole Chitral valley with an amazing backdrop of Tirich Meer that's the highest peak in this region This is the entry pass for the foreigners. For locals it is 60 rupees per person and for foreigners it is 600 rupees per person. Uh, by mistake I think they have written 1200 into 2 uh, but our total was actually 1200 that we paid for the two foreigners. After a very bumpy ride of almost two hours, we have finally arrived in uh, Rumbur village. Uh, that's one of the areas of Kalasha people here. And our driver and guide uh, Imran Bhai suggested that uh, this is the place where we can find more Kalasha people and we can, uh, you know, get closer to their culture and their lifestyle and how they are living here in their areas. So we decided to come here and we can already see a lot of children in their traditional dresses and uh, it seems like they are, they were outside a school uh, so it looks like that they are wearing their traditional attire to their schools also so first up Imran Bhai has brought us in a school here, a local school where the children are still studying and we see on my back you can see a lot of Kalasha girls wearing their traditional attire and I am definitely going to be making some videos here and we will be talking to the locals as well. I, I remember from my previous experience also, these Galasha people, the, especially the kids, they are very shy when you go closer to them for a picture or video and uh, uh, they try to hide away. So still I'm trying to get the best shots here. Uh, so let's see how it goes. Good thing about this Rumbur village is, uh, I heard from some people as well and also I'm experiencing it myself right now, that it is not as touristic as the Bumburi, the village where they have all their festivals. So they, they will let you get much more closer to the local people. Like right now we are in a school and the teachers have allowed us to go to any class we want, take any pictures, any videos we need to make for our videos, our Instagram, or Facebook, whatever we want. 
and uh, the teachers are actually we can't understand their language but they are actually shouting at kids if the kids are shying away from us so they are actually telling their kids to cooperate with us getting a feeling of pretty much an invigilator right now or a teacher here so whoever i go to uh, they are quickly opening up their books and showing us if they are studying back by the way they are studying urdu language i saw from their books but they are shy so they won't reply much i try to speak in english with them in urdu also but Uh, most of them just prefer to stay silent. Now we are climbing like a hundred stairs after the school visit. Uh, we are heading towards the residential part of this village now, where we will be meeting some local families. Uh, we will see how they are spending their lives, their lifestyle. uh things they make for eating the food things and let's see what else we can find out about this very unique culture sorry for spreading some misinformation i said 100 stairs they are not 100 stairs they are much more than this and you can already hear by breathing As you know, I'm a super fit person for these kinds of things, uh, and I still don't know how many more stairs we have to go up till we reach the destination house. After coming up these uh, 200 stairs or something, we have arrived at this Charsu. Uh, this is the dancing place or a get-together place for the different occasions. Uh, this is right on top of this mountain. little bit history about this place and the people living here uh, how these uh, villages were formed uh, back in the 16th century they were basically living in the chitral city the chitral valley from where we are coming right now uh, but in the early 16th century some rais ruler attacked the place and took charge and control as he has more strength more manpower uh, so the kalasha people uh, were being killed or either forcefully converted to islam Uh, so to save themselves they run uh, they ran towards these places uh, the village is now called bamburi uh, balanguru uh, this rambur village rambur village where i'm standing right now so this is how these villages were formed back in the 16th century and because probably because of being very far from the main cities and the uh, you know the rushy places they have been able to Uh, save their civilization for so long and even their buildings i'll just show you in the next videos they are still intact and uh, they are still originally from the 16th century they are built so strongly that they never needed a renovation or anything and they are still as strong as the building could be I am standing in Groom Village, Rumbur Valley, and uh, right behind me there, you can see Balanguru Village. That's also a place for Kalasha people. Okay, so I have climbed another hundred stairs now, and. Uh, right behind me under this big rock you can see it's an altar or a temple uh, this is their religious place for the kalasha people uh, where they do all their religious rituals on their main events like uh, uchal or chilam joshi and other religious events that they have here and also this place is their sacrificial place where they where they sacrifice animals as well Uh, so like uh, 
We Muslims do it on our Eid, Eid ul Azha. Uh, these Kalasha people also have some uh, certain occasions where they sacrifice animals to please their gods. So about this altar or the temple as we may call it, uh, their women are not allowed to enter this place. Actually any women are not allowed to even visit this place. Uh, like the women who are with us, uh, they were also not allowed to come up to this place with the men. So now we are inside one of the houses here. I'm not sure if I should be going in, but I think I have to go in. I've taken permission and now I'm inside what looks like a kitchen to me. And this is the tea getting ready for us. And this is all the crockery. And this pretty much looks like a, a cupboard or a, what we call it, whatever you call it. Uh, at any house in a Punjabi village also, their crockery is almost similar. This beautiful lady is preparing tea for us, uh, using wood to light some fire. These people here have electricity, uh, thanks to some small hydropower generation plants. Uh, but for gas, there is still no availability, so they use wood uh, to cook food and uh, other things they need to use for heating it's purposes. Time for Chloe and uh, Dilara to try some local dresses, and it was a must. If you come to Kalash, you should look like a Kalasha girl, and then take some pictures with that. Tea is here. It's black tea, and a little bit too much sugar in it for me, yeah, because usually I don't take sugar in my tea. Uh, but this is. Uh, cooked on uh, wood fire and it's uh, definitely a very special cup of tea for me so I'm not leaving it. A lady, a local lady, she's weaving a trouser right now. Uh, the traditional trouser that they wear under this long frock type thing. The Kalasha girl Chloe. Yes. So how are you enjoying this experience in this valley? Really awesome, yeah. yeah they're so friendly. They're right. Friendly. Yeah. And you like all the unique culture and dressing and everything here? Yeah, that was so fun, like dressing up. Right. And, and how was the ride, the bumpy, bumpy ride we had? Oh, well, it was better than I expected. Right. <laughs> so you were expecting better. worse? Nothing compared to Central Africa. So right, <laughs> right. So it was much better than yeah, that. Yeah, right. so We are back in our hotel after a good day in Kalash Valley uh, in the Gumbur village. And this happens when you have a hat on your head all day. So I am now back and I would like to show you guys this beautiful view uh, from the lawn of my hotel, the legend hotel in Chitral. <laughs> 